Okay, let's talk a little bit more about other news, and a lot of it is economics. Um, uh, this week, this morning, the Labour Department reported a 0.5% rise in the consumer price index. Julie, is this more than just high oil prices that are driving prices up? Well, I think so. And I think, you know, this is going to be, uh, we're going to increasingly see, you know, the Fed has said that they're beginning to see improvement in the economy. But as 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 gas prices go up and we're entering the summer driving season With improvement now, comes inflation. Yes. And, and you know, any recovery is obviously going to be slowed with, with with these increases. So this this also becomes something, it's it's become a, a theme on Capitol Hill. We hear more and more about gas prices. Now Republicans are, are, are blaming President Obama, saying he needs to allow more production. And President Obama, in his budget, said that he wanted to end tax subsidies for oil companies. And so Republicans have branded that the minivan tax. So this becomes, <laughs> this becomes, this becomes a, a, you know, a, a real sort of political hot potato, but, but certainly Those a very... Those soccer moms back in the political <laughs> right. field again. But certainly a, a substantive problem for, for the, any, any, any economic recovery that might be taking Do hold. Americans need to start worrying about interest rates going up? I, I don't know. I mean, the Fed has basically not changed its position on this, and I think that you know I, that gas prices have not been high enough or long enough for them to say that that's gonna that it's gonna have that influence. But I, it's definitely something that that everyone has to keep an eye on, given that everyone acknowledges that the, whatever recovery is going on is still very fragile. Chris, I, I was just gonna say, you know, with the economy particularly, and Julie gets at this. The numbers almost matter less than the perception, and right. that's the difficult thing that the Obama administration has run into. Is you know it's it's so perception driven. People forget when Ronald Reagan was reelected overwhelmingly in 1984, the unemployment rate was still over seven percent. The issue that, that worked for him was the trend line was trending downward. So I think part of this is it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If people feel better about things, then they go out and spend money. So these mixed signals uh, are difficult for an Obama administration who, that's really hoping to push that unemployment number down, down, down as we get closer to November 2012. And if gas prices do rise, as we expect this summer, uh, that will be a difficult hurdle for them. Not because anyone, I think, blames Barack Obama for the fact that they pay more at the pump, but when you pay 50 or $60 uh, to fill up your tank of gas, it is harder to believe the economic recovery has begun in earnest. Right. Um, and, and Greg, the relationship between uh, gas prices going up and unemployment coming down, which is the number that is going to sway politics more, or are the two so inextricably linked that you you can't separate them? Well, they are linked because one of the things that's been happening is that gasoline has now risen roughly a dollar per gallon in the last uh, three or four months. That could actually wipe a full percentage point off of uh, household incomes. By way of comparison, that's almost as big as the tax cut we got in December. We now know that the economy mm. probably only grew around one and a half percent in the first quarter, which is a painfully slow rate. People were actually thinking it might be growing three or four percent. So that uh, rising gasoline is directly dragging the economy back and will make it harder for the unemployment rate to come down. Both those things are going to be big barriers to uh, Obama. And the prospects for gas prices coming down anytime soon? Uh, very poor. Because essentially what's happening is you have uh, both supply being constrained by problems in the Middle East, Libya's exports almost completely shut in, and continued uh, rampant growth in demand in countries like China, which are still growing very rapidly.